welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and thank you all for joining me on this video today. We're going to be talking about what's going on out here, folks. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. I'm sure everybody has been well aware of all the different problems and situations that are taking place on a daily basis, and it only seems like getting worse, unfortunately. The thing that really sucks about the whole situation is the fact that it doesn't seem like anything's really being done. It doesn't seem like anything is really being taken care of or being addressed in a timely manner. We're creating more problems than we're solving problems. The national deficit is just like under, I mean, it's just out of control. You know, it's the second highest it's ever been in U.S. history. And, you know, they, they keep pushing this whole, you know, $3.5 trillion bill that they want to push through and everything else. And who's going to be paying for all this stuff? We're already paying so much more at the pump, right? I mean, come on. This is just getting ridiculous, you know. In my area, we're up to around three thirty a gallon. Everything at the grocery stores are gone up. Unless you go to, let's say, Walmart, some of their canned goods are still 50 cents, folks. You still have time to prep and buy certain items at a decent price. But things are starting to go scarce. Things are starting to go south. There's a huge problem with the demand and the supply. The demand is outpacing the supply. You got Christmas rolling around the corner. Now, I'm in the delivery business. A lot of people are trying to pre-order and get all their kind of Christmas gifts and everything else now while they still can, which is probably a good idea because prices are going up on a daily basis. Amazon is starting to have shortages. I have a lot of stuff that I order through Amazon. I noticed today we got notified that there's like four or five things that I get on a monthly basis are now not available. There's no ship date. So they don't know when they're going to get it back in stock. A few of them are food products, a couple paper products, so on and so forth. So what is going on? You have to ask yourself this. You have to sit back and you have to think about what is actually going on in this world, in this country, let alone the world. All right, let's just focus on this country. We've got container ships that are mounting in the hundreds now, setting off all the coast waiting to be unloaded we don't have enough truck drivers to move all the said product now if you ask me one good way that they could really get around this is have a big push on giving people that want to say buy their own truck and move this freight well give them good interest rates good deals on trucks don't rape them make that a national crisis we need more truck drivers now we have a company down here a lot of a lot of states have this company it's called McLean's now this week in Orlando they're doing a big job fair they're offering now get this folks they're offering because they're hurting for drivers so damn bad that they're offering a $5,000 signing bonus if you have a CDL and you're hired and guaranteed starting pay at $88,000 per year. They're hurting. A lot of companies are hurting. A lot of companies are doing these huge signing bonuses just trying to get people to go to work. What is wrong with this country? Why is it nobody wants to go to work? They're all collecting all this money. Some of the money's run out. Some of them are still getting some of this, well, stuff that they should be getting next year, but they're giving it to them this year monthly. So, you know, I mean, if some of these people have five kids, well, you know, they're making out like a bandit, sitting at home, eating bonbons, playing video games, or watching Netflix. Take your pick. As a prepper, you really want to make sure that you are doing everything that you possibly can do. You want to make sure that you're prepping all your food, all your dry goods, your canned goods. Put up as much as possible. Stock up on batteries, 
whatever it is that you think that you may need in an emergency situation because let's just face it folks the shit's about ready to hit the fan it's only a matter of time before this country can't take any more than what is going on inflation is out of control nobody seems to be really concerned about this the spending in washington is out of control furthermore most of washington is out of control they want to put all these mandates and everything in they want to force everybody to do things that they don't want to do they want to force people to do certain things i have to be careful what i say here so bear with me read between the lines folks they want to start firing people they've started that down here now I don't totally agree with them firing these firefighters, police officers, nurses, doctors, and everything else because they don't want to get a jab, okay? There's ways around this. These people have been on the front lines fighting for our survival and trying to take care of the people in their communities through this whole thing. They're still doing it today and now you want to turn around and you want to get rid of them because they don't want to take the jab I have a huge problem with that they can test them test them on a daily basis when they come to work have them take a, a quick test boom if they pass the test you go to work what's the big deal I don't know what the big deal is but for some reason the federal government thinks it's a big deal and they think that everybody should just be fired. If they're not going to comply, well, we're just going to fire you. There's a problem here. What are you going to do when there's a shortage of firefighters, police officers, first responders, nurses, doctors, and surgeons, anesthesiologists, all these different type of people when you need them? You get what I'm saying? Because it's going to happen. And then what? then what are we going to do then we're stuck right folks i mean we just don't know what the outcome is going to be if this goes all across the united states of america what are they going to do what are you going to do this is why you need to be prepared as much as possible and make sure that you and your family are secure and however much it takes to make sure you're ready for the ultimate day when the shortages really start to hit, when things start to go south. It's only a matter of time. Our time is like a ticking time bomb right now. This country is on the verge of an uprival. You're going to have people against people, which we already have now. You have so many people that are just, they don't know what they want to do. You have the protesters that protest one thing and the other protesters that are protesting the other thing. And the next thing you know, they're colliding, especially like at school board meetings and all this other kind of stuff over the mandates. Seems to me that some of these mandates are creating more problems than what they're actually worth. So in closing, folks, I want you to really sit back and think about and take an inventory of what you have in your arsenal. Make sure that you have all the kind of stuff that you do need. You still have time to sit back and prepare and be ready for when the day comes things go south and i hope it doesn't come to this but unfortunately if you read between the lines folks and you really pay attention to what's going on it isn't looking good so make sure that you have a stockpile of your food your water ways to cook all this different type of stuff medicines first aid kits battery banks you name it, if you can find it and you can afford it, you need to be purchasing these things now. 
because it's going to come down to where the average Joe ain't going to be able to afford to prep much longer. And maybe that's part of their plan. Maybe they want to get it to where they have all the control, where we have none. I'm sure they would really love that. Just like the fact that now they want to make sure that they know how much money we have in the bank and they want to know if we have more than $600 in the bank. Which I totally disagree with. And as far as I'm concerned, the government can take that one and stick it where the sun don't shine. So I'm survival preparedness for beginners. I want everybody out there to stay safe. I want you to stay prepping. I want you to thrive to survive, folks, because you are the one that's going to make the difference in your family's lives. You are the one that ultimately has to make a plan and has to stick to it. There is no other way around it. I can sit here and preach all day long, and so can every other YouTube channel out there. But in the end, we all have one goal. We care about you, and we want you to be able to survive and thrive when everything goes south. So until next time, folks, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody has a great day. You all stay safe, keep prepping, thrive to survive. And until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Thank you.